the fishtail scroll. The fishtail scroll, the one that's like the one before, but it's uh, it's tapered and wider. And I don't have to explain a lot because it's pretty much exactly the same than what uh, what we had with the ribbon scroll. So I just show you the video of how it's done. Okay, same thing again and again. Do it a little faster to not bore you. We widen this and on the drawing it was about an inch and a quarter wide. So it's not really much I have to do. Yeah, I'm already over it. Then clean it nicely and flatten it on the face of the anvil. Straighten the sides. Okay. Do some more cleaning here before I scroll it. And then I go over, I do the start freehand. I always do the start freehand. And then I use my scroll jig next. About this far. Here's my scroll jig. I use a pair of tongs to hold it. And then just turn it around my jig. And it just takes me two heats as you can see here, it's hot again, and I cooled off the end that I don't open that. And now it, it, it hooks in here. I don't need my tongs anymore. I have turned it all the way around. Oh no, I didn't make it in two heats, sorry. Uh, it would be three heats, but uh, sometimes if you heat it too long, it's hard to, to get a good fit. So it's, it's better to, to go a little slower and then you don't need to hammer much. You just turn it around and you're done. Here we are, scroll number two. Show you a couple of fishtails. Uh, here's one that is kind of crude, uh, just thinned out and, and scrawled although it's forge felted here, so it's not that crude. And here's a fancy one uh, that's really flared out wide and even split. And here's one that I once had to replicate. Uh, they, they, uh, the spreading is done not with a pin of a hammer, but, but by uh, but fullering lines into it and then curling it around. Here's a super fancy one. You see the the, uh, the fishtails down here and and in here. Thanks for watching. We've got three other scrolls to cover, so make sure that you like and subscribe so that you're receiving those notifications.